Hi, I'm Lynn Momack, Forest Health Coordinator at Georgia Forestry Commission. We're here this morning in Southwest Georgia to talk about Kogan grass. Kogan grass is one of the worst invasive plants that we have here in Georgia, and we've been following it and have had an eradication program in place since the early 2000s. We're gonna go talk with Mark McClure, one of our forest health specialists, to help you identify Kogan grass and let you know what to do if you find it on your property. Morning, Mark. Morning, Lynn. Hey, it looks like you found a nice big patch of Kogan grass here. Sure did, sure did. Tell us, uh, what should a landowner be looking for if they think they may have Kogan grass on their property? Well, in the springtime, Lynn, the first thing you can look for is the seed heads. As we can tell from this site right here, we have from immature where the seed hasn't quite opened up yet, all the way to the mature seed dispersing. And about how many seeds do you think are on this flower head? There's approximately 3,000 seed per flower head there. That's a lot of seed. What about the leaf blades? Is there anything distinct about these leaf blades that the, a landowner can look for? The leaf blade, it has a white off-centered midrib. That's the distinguishing feature to look at there. And it's a real coarse grass along with that. Yeah, if you rub your hand down the sides of it, it is really, really rough. I've also always heard that Kogan grass has a really, really dense root system. Is that true? That's true. So Lynn, just walk over here and take a look at some roots. All right. Well, Lynn, here's some Kogan grass roots that I dug up earlier. As we can tell from the density of it, you can't hand pull it. You're going to have to dig it up with a shovel. And at the same time, by looking at the density of it, we can see it outcompetes our native plant communities. And if you look a little closer at these roots, you'll see these real sharp pointed rhizomes, which is another distinct feature of Kogan grass. We know that it spreads by those fluffy white seeds that you showed us earlier, but can it also be spread by pieces of these roots? It can be. Any kind of mechanical disturbance such as logging or disking. So if you're in an area that is known to have Kogan grass, it's really important that you clean up that equipment from both the seeds and these root pieces before you move on to your next project. Now that we know what Kogan grass looks like, there are also some common lookalikes that are often mistaken for Kogan grass. These include Johnson grass, broom sedge, bassy grass, and silver beard grass. So where do we find Kogan grass in Georgia? Up to this point, the majority of the spots are located in thin pine stands or right of -ways. It'll grow anywhere in the state of Georgia. However, the majority of it's concentrated in the Southwest region. And up to this point, we've detected approximately 1,500 spots statewide. Of those 1,500 spots, GFC has controlled and eradicated almost 85%. If you think you may have found Kogan grass on your property or see it on a roadside, you can report it through our online system or call your local GFC office. <music> 